hey guys welcome so this is a different kind of video but something i want to be doing continuing on in my channel and that is my army army hauls because i have recently started pre-ordering and buying a lot from army army and it's kind of an addiction i swear so um continuing on I most likely will be doing monthly um yummy hauls and th today is the month of March however this didn't ship out until April um so <laughs> it's like late April and I'm just getting my March um um yummy order I also didn't pay for like DHL because shipping was too much and i already spent so much on just what's inside that i was like you know what let's just be a little bit cheap so i, I think i got the second cheapest which was the air parcel one so maybe that's why it also took a while but i'm so excited to show you guys what i got and i hope you guys um will enjoy these kinds of videos moving on into the future so let's open it up i finally got another box cutter because i like destroyed the last one so i'm so excited Oh my gosh okay so first of all here is the army army card for the month of march right yeah march okay so here is the first thing i'll just like just pull out whatever and just show you guys what i got so i think yeah okay this is a spoiler for something i got so i will open this when i show you guys the figure because this is the bonus but let's take it out and oh my gosh okay i'm sorry you can't see anything but oh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh okay i'm so excited so um let's uh let me let's see let's take these out first oh my gosh so some acrylic stands as you can see i'll just take them all out and then i'll just show you guys them one by one i think that's what i decided <gasps> oh my gosh oh my gosh yep another project oh it's upside down project sekai cd oh, oh my gosh okay and then oh yep oh my gosh yes <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh sorry sorry there's a lot of fan girl like i do apologize but yes this was like an impulse purchase but i'm so glad i got this and then we have uh, my three figures so first what i got is the chifua pop-up parade it's really reflective but yes and then i got the hatsune miku the vampire Oh my gosh, these are actually my first pop-up parades, so I'm really excited to see the quality of these. And then, concluding this is... Uh, my scale of Ganyu. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay now let's move the box away and go through everything i got in detail so first i'll go through all the small things so i will start off with 
these acrylic stands. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is for the Project Sakai CD, so I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Oh my gosh. So if you guys don't know, Yakuza Fiance is one of my all-time favorite mangas. It is such a good manga. I highly recommend it if you are into sort of that Yakuza with some romance in it arranged marriage sort of deal strong female lead amazing oh my gosh okay so obviously i had to get all three because the designs are just oh, so pretty these are way bigger than what i was expecting oh whoopsie So this is what the acrylic plate stand, I'll say acrylic stand looks like. And then here is, this is upside down, and is it? Wait. And here is the acrylic plate. So this is just a simple one. Just pop that in. And done oh my gosh okay that is super cute <gasps> okay let's do him next we'll save the best for last of course So this one's more of a lighter teal color. Here is the base. Oh my gosh. Okay, these look so good. And then my favorite. His is like a um, dark blue. Oh my gosh. He is, oh, he is so fine. And here is the base. And I just realized this is the wrong way. I am an idiot. Okay, so these are the acrylic stands and these are, oh my gosh, so good. Like, genuinely, the mangaka's art for these are so stunning. Like, oh my gosh, they're all so fine. I cannot, like, if the art alone doesn't convince you already to just check out this manga, I don't know what will because look at the art that is amazing and i'm so happy with this purchase okay next thing i'll go through is my project sakai uh cd so last time i pre-ordered the project sakai on cd japan and this time i well from now on i will be pre-ordering pre-ordering them from Ami Ami because 
practically you don't have to pay up front like CD Japan you can pay when whenever it's released like the month and I think I definitely prefer that more than paying up front um, and shipping is usually less um, way less because I'm bundle bundling this with a bunch of other things I want so I'm really not paying that much for shipping in comparison to CD Japan so although I don't really like the um, what the bonus they give you which is this badge or magnet I thought it was a badge it's actually a magnet um because I don't really have a use for it um and I much prefer the posters that CD Japan give you um you know I still want the CD and with this I know I'm able to get all the CDs now because in when I was pre-ordering on CD Japan, I had to be selective. But now I can get every single one. The, this CD actually contains um, one of my favorite songs from Vivid Bad Squad, Flyer. I love that song. And oh, is it Mirai? I'm pretty sure it's Mirai. Another favorite. I remember looking at the songs on this and I'm like, yeah, that these two songs are probably my like favorites out of their originals. So here is the CD. Oh, here's the little like paper thing. You see, it has like some snow, which is super cute. And then here's the CD, which is super reflective, but it's like practically there's a bunch of snow. And then here is the. Oh, it has the cards. Okay, so I'm really hoping for Anne because she is my favorite out of Food Bad Squad. However, I will not be mad, honestly. So let's see who we get. Oh, oh my gosh. She, Kohane, she's so cute. Honestly, I can't even be mad. She's super cute. And then, of course, I have the other card as well. And then here's just the inside, which has the lyrics, and then the back. So yep, super simple, but honestly, that is to be expected. This isn't like a full album or anything, it's just two songs. Like, I'm only paying, I'm pretty sure, like $10 or something for this, so obviously I'm not expecting a lot. I just really um, love Project Sakai, if that wasn't obvious. I think at this point, it's like a big uh, rabbit hole I've been sucked into and I don't think I can ever escape from this. I'm like nearly level 200 on the game and ugh, I've just, I've like gotten so many of my friends to play it um, and sucked them in as well. Yeah, but that is the CD. I don't want to ramble on too much. Um... Don't know if I really want to take this out, but here, yeah, there's the magnet. Don't know where I'm gonna put this, but yeah. Art is super pretty if I did not mention that before. Okay, and now oh, the last thing before we move on to all the figures. Okay, so I don't know why I decided to get into this. I already have like too many things to collect and gone kind of crazy, kind of been low key obsessed with Pop Mart recently. Um, I don't know why I decided to start this when I literally started Pop Mart, which is so expensive. Um, and that is like anime cards, like Polaroids and stuff or anything like that. I really want to start collecting and of, of course, what better way to start it than oh, obviously my Project Sakai cards, but Blue Lock, um, one of my all-time favorite animes and manga now because I binge read the manga and let me just say it gets so good. I love this series. I don't know if this is just me, but like why does like every like Tokyo Revengers fan always love Blue Lock? Like every Tokyo Revengers like content creator I follow or artist or anything, always go to blue lock me being one of them i 
used to love Tokyo Revengers. Well, I still love Tokyo Revengers. But now I'm like obsessed with Blue Lock. So now I'm getting a bunch of Blue Lock merch. But yeah. Um, so these are like Polaroids. I'm very excited. If you're wondering who's my favorite, it is obviously Isagi. I love Isagi so much. Isagi and Sei are definitely my favorites. Um, Rio is a very close like third. I also really love Rin and um, Chiguri. How do you? Am I stupid? How do you open this? Oh, <gasps> okay. So I know um, it's meant to like pop up, but yeah. Oh my gosh, I haven't actually like opened like blind bags or anything in so long. So, let's take these. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. Ooh. I'm like rolling in the blue lock um <laughs> cards. Honestly, this was pretty like relatively cheap. I think it was only like $20 or so, so not bad. Um I think it's just because it's like two cards in a pack. So yeah, I'm going to be opening them all up pretty fast though because obviously I don't want this to take a while. But I need to get some scissors. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, technically ripped it, but I think I just want to open it up like this. Make sure the cards aren't in the way. Don't want to <laughs> accidentally cut the cards. I'm really paranoid, sorry. Okay, so let's see. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the whole set, but it's a nice surprise. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, you have three. Ooh. And. Oh my gosh. Rio and Nagi. Oh my gosh, the trio. That's so cute. So these are just Polaroids um, of anime scenes, which I think is super cute. It has like the um, Polaroid uh, like look and feel, which is super cool. Okay. Let's open up the next one. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry for my atrocious cutting. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Oh! Oh my gosh. Um, so... Uh, this is currently my boyfriend. <laughs> joking, but he was safe. The love of my life. <gasps> Chigri is so cute. Oh my gosh. He's, okay, so we got my three favorites. Well, Sagi obviously reigns on top. I'm pretty sure these are all hot ones. Yep. Oh my gosh Rio he's so cute oh my gosh I forgot his name oopsie and Isaki the love of my life sorry guys it's like early morning like like early morning I say it's like two in the morning I'm kind of going crazy right now And then next one, hello, <laughs> hello, and there's, open, <gasps> oh my gosh, Bachira, that is so cute, I love Bachira as well, oh, these two, got their names, <laughs> oopsie, <gasps> Nagi, this is my friend's favourite, Um, I don't particularly have a strong attachment to Nagi, but he's cool as a character. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for my cutting. 
Oh, ew. Okay. Um, irrelevant. Oh, you know. Oh, um, yeah, I don't know. Crazy. Only one person. Oh my gosh. You know, he Loki. Hear me out. <laughs> I haven't opened like blind bags and stuff in so long. This is just so fun, honestly. Like a whole pack. It's honestly so fun. Oh my gosh, Patria, he's so cute. Nico? Nico, I'm pretty sure that's his name. And oh, oh Bleach guy. I forgot his name. But oh, cuties. <laughs> I like I'm just leaving a pile. That's so funny. Okay. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but this is taking a while. Shark boy. Oh my gosh. The best duo. No arguments allowed. Close second is Isagi and Vindo. <gasps> this is the best card okay this is the best card the one that must be just front and center Isagi is too cute too cute I love him so much oh my gosh this is a close um oh ego but close contender ego mm -hmm. vector and Nagi, oh my gosh. Nagi and Rio. I am hoping to eventually set up a blue lock uh, dedicated shop like I have for my Tokyo Revengers. So I might film a video of that, so get excited. <gasps> Oh my gosh, he is so pretty. Like, it's actually unfair. Oh, these two are so sad. <laughs> Crying. Ah. And the final packet. He's still so cute. And oh my gosh. Chiguri blushing, that's so cute. And um I really don't care about him. <laughs> but yeah, so that was all of the blue lock up polarites, which were all horizontal, which is interesting. Interesting. I think it's because of the anime. But yeah, this was so much fun to open. I love just like blind bags and all of that kind of stuff so this was so fun um obviously also because it's blue lock literally one of my all-time favorite series now so yeah i think you get like 30 so that's pretty good so yeah i'm gonna be putting this probably in a binder which i recently just bought so yeah that is everything i got that is like merchandise wise we're gonna move on to the figures so i will start off with the pop-up parades and then i will segue into the scale as the final thing so the first pop-up parade so these are my first which is super exciting so of course i had to get Chifua. So if you guys don't know Chif Chifu Chifua. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. I actually do have um a prize figure of Chifu, but obviously prize figures are not the highest of quality. And I really wanted like a nice Chifua. And I know this is like relatively cheap. I got it for like $40. I think like I got it like $10 more than my prize figure. And from the looks of it, it looks way better, especially his hair. His hair in the prize figure was not that good. I did like um, his uniform. It was like really nicely, um, like wrinkles and stuff were pretty nice. But just looking at this is like way more detailed. So I am super excited to look at this. Oh. 
Oh my god. Hello? Why can I not? I'm so scared, sorry. I will say one thing, I really like this like kind of clear packaging. Looks really nice and clean. So here he is. the base which is a simple black which i really like i mean obviously i like when they're more elaborate the bases but i definitely prefer this over those like like hexagon um bases that are like level i think those are really ugly and just weird so i would much rather they just go for like black base definitely um and it's like way smaller than the price one which is like kind of like oval shaped it's just like a nice circle and then here's the chifua oh my gosh so i know um if you bought this like country roll up they had this censored um but since i got it from ami ami it is not censored but i really like the wrinkles the nice like gold details it looks pretty like accurate his hair is so much better it's like way more his color see the strands obviously it's a pop up parade you're not going to be expecting like scale figure quality but definitely way nicer than um price figure quality they even got his piercings just overall looks so good and like if you're definitely looking for still a pretty cheap um chiffure figure i would highly recommend just skipping on the price figure and maybe saving up a little bit more for the pop-up parade because you're definitely like paying for way better quality and usually if you go on ami ami pop-up parades usually drop in price so i recommend like just waiting for a bit maybe check the pre-owned you're most likely to find them for a pretty like good price like twenty dollars like probably even cheaper than the price figure but yeah super nice i'm so happy i'm probably gonna be selling or giving my price figure away because i do not need um to no matter how much i love him i would much rather keep the higher quality one so let's put him on super simple and there he is i am super happy with this figure not much i can really say he's quite a simple figure but i'm overall really happy with this i also would like to get the takamichi um pop up parade because there is like no takamichi figures what is up with that um i like takamichi if you guys didn't know i am a big fan of takamichi so why is there like no takamichi figures sorry that was a little ramble but yeah i'm so happy with this this is so good oh my gosh yes so that is the first pop-up parade and one i'm super happy with moving on we have the hatsune miku um the vampire version so this is the new line of where they like they're like larger um compared to like the regular pop-up parades um, I think they're meant to be in comparison to one seventh scales, I think. I have really no idea, but if you guys don't know, I love vo Vocaloid. Very apparent with my Project Sakai CD. But um, this song, such a banger. <laughs> Highly recommend you go listen to it if you haven't. Love the song. So of course, when I saw this, I had to get it because why would i not want to figure of like one of my favorite songs and it is like pretty um 
accurate, I would say, to the image. So I'm super happy. I've already seen some um, clips of this, like videos of people opening them. And I've been patiently waiting because I'm so excited to have another Hatsune Miku um, figure to my collection. This is like pretty big. What the hell? That's not cut towards me. I don't want to kill myself today. I think Pop-Up Parade is like, sorry, let me just not have it like that. It's like moving away from the hexagon bases, which thank goodness, um, obviously for the price you're paying, I can't be expecting like, um, super nice bases, but I would much rather like plain circle bases like this rather than the ugly ass hexagon bases. So I'm happy that my pop-up braids have this base rather than, than the other one. I don't know if that's what they're planning on doing, um, continuing on or what. But yeah, if you guys know anything, let me know. Protection for her pigtails, of course. But yeah, here's the Hatsune Miku. And this figure is amazing. For the price you're paying, I really, oh my gosh. I would kill for her shoes. Like genuinely, I would kill for those shoes. Those shoes are so cute. But yeah, I love her. Oh my gosh. She's like pretty accurate, I would say, to the song um, like cover. And I really like the like, it looks like her dress is like being like swooshed in the wind it's like really nice obviously you can't be expecting much shading because it is a cheaper like figure but i think like it's overall really like well done her face is so cute i love it here's like a darker um kind of like green color which i really like and her blouse is so cute i would love to own a blouse like this honestly this outfit is generally like super cute i love it and her little fangs because like vampire and the little oh my gosh this and her painted nails which is a little bit off but painted nails yes um Obviously, I can't be expecting much, but I did wish they added all of the little, like, her little um, accessories, like, on her ears and stuff. I think that would have been super cute, but, yeah, I'm overall super happy with this figure, and it's so cute, and it is, like, big. Um, there is, like, a clear plastic thing to make, kind of make it look like she's kind of, like, walking up, which is cool. Wait, how do I... Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, so the holes didn't fit in perfectly. I like, like, he had to like stretch my figure a little bit to get um, it to fit. But overall, it's like pretty smooth fit, and it is so cute. Now, putting this in comparison to what the, what am I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. To my chiffy, there is a very big difference, as you can see. There is like a big um, difference, but yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with these. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Yes, these are so cute. I'm so happy. Like, I know people sometimes complain about the quality of pop-up parades, but I think these are amazing. They're so pretty. I'm super happy with this. And now, moving on to the final one. Um, my Ghanaian. So with that... I will show you guys the bonus, which kind of spoiled it, which is why I left it. But now that you guys know, I will show you. And it is this cute Ganyu Clefowl. 
I love Ganyu. Um, I haven't actually um, confession. I've not built her properly on Genshin. Despite getting her so long ago, but I still love her nevertheless. So yeah, super cute. Um, I don't use clear files. Probably just hang this up. But here, yeah, that's so cute. You should see the state of like my room right now because I've just been chucking everything, just leaving a mess. But moving on to <gasps> my god, new scale. Oh my gosh. I am so happy. Oh my gosh. I really like kind of this like clear but like translucent kind of packaging. It's really nice and slim, which I like, you know like she is not a big figure she does not need to take up a lot of space and i appreciate that apex so this is a 17 scale by apex super nice like clean box look i would definitely say i really like it oh my gosh i'm so happy so i know this is meant to be based off her card art i'm pretty sure which is um, just looking from here looks pretty accurate, but we will take her out and see what she's like. Oh my gosh, I need to be more careful when opening up figures. But oh my gosh. Okay, we'll look at her base first. Which is super nice. I actually really like. It's super cute. Um, not unnecessarily big, which we always appreciate. It's like um, a light blue, kind of goes from like a darker to a lighter. And it has some nice clouds, which are like raised, which I really like. I definitely think if it's the Ganyu figure, and I really like this. They did something a little bit different. And this is like really cute. They have the extra one for if you have the Ning Ningguan um, figure, you can put Ganyu with her. After hearing that, I'm definitely more tempted, not gonna lie, even though it's such an expensive figure, but I think that's super cool um, that Apex, this is like a little Easter egg that they did that. So yeah, I just don't want to lose this, so I'll keep it here. Um, and, oh my gosh, so uh, I'll take this out quickly. Glad they put this tape to avoid the thing falling out. But it's her little like orb thing. Not really sure what it's called. But it's just like the orb she holds. I'll just leave that here. And oh my gosh. So let's just get all the plastic. I'm trying to be super careful because uh, scales are it's too expensive for me to break them. But oh my gosh. This is so good. Okay, let me put this on the base, put everything together, and I'll show you guys this properly. So, just put it in. Okay, I just had to really, like, put her um, thing in, and then we got a orb in. Oh my gosh. How do you... I think it's like that, so it kind of looks like just kind of like floating it. Pretty sure that's how it works. But yeah, oh my gosh, this is the figure. Uh, kind of wobbly still. No, and I put it in, kind of worried. But here she is. I definitely think um she is a much simpler figure um compared to some of the other Genshin figures. 
like the kitchen which i think they go for like the kitchen is a little bit expensive but like they're relatively relatively around the same price um however i think this was a beautifully done figure very accurate to um ganyu i think apex did an amazing job really um and i don't know like even though it's really simple like um the price was pretty good for it like for a scale because it was like way simpler which we always appreciate but sometimes we don't need super extravagant figures sometimes i think it's nice to just have a nice figure you know so yeah and like this is still so pretty i love her so much like the detailing on the clothes like do you see the shading of it that that is amazing you see this like um some shading in her hair of like the different colors her horns are so cute and i know people have described her face as quite like lifeless but i i don't know i think it really gives off like ganyu you know like a very soft expression and i don't know i just really love it um this is over oh my gosh super wobbly but yeah this is such a cute figure honestly and i am so happy i'm sorry this is not super detailed i definitely recommend if you are a ganyu or genshin fan in general that you um pick this figure up it is so pretty it's so nice and it will look good on anyone's shelf especially if you have that ningwon figure you put them together like hello is that not so cool so yeah i am so happy with everything i got all the merchandise all of my figures everything this hurt my wallet like hell when i saw um when i had to pay for it but it was so worth it for this um happiness like guys retail therapy does work <laughs> so yeah that is everything for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video i had so much fun with this video i loved this and i'm so excited to continue doing these kinds of videos in the future so yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time bye